morning to you and welcome back. We've got a, I think a spider on the camera. Oh, it's a hornet. Oh, oh man, it's huge. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> it's pretty warm out there. I think the hornet is enjoying uh, all the sunshine today. Not to mention our temperature is sitting in the 80s. Yeah, I want that to go away. Uh, current conditions are sitting mainly in those mid to upper 80s. We'll see these continue to warm as we make it through today. Plenty of sunshine to help really uh, induce that warming. Our high temperatures will make a run at the low 90s today. Many people are already out enjoying uh, the beach today. Great idea. We're going to continue to see that partly cloudy sun throughout the rest of today. Uh, mainly a chance for those rain showers, but not until later this evening. So take full advantage of the day. We're going to not only see some pretty uh, low and calm winds, we'll feel calm winds, but we'll also see some of those really light and non choppy waves. So another really good pro to uh, the lakeshore today, not to mention our water temperature temperatures have now made it into the 60s in all of our communities, so another reason to go hit the lake shore. Satellite and radar shows that we are mighty clear outside. We'll continue to see a lot of that uh, cloud cover pretty much stay off to the west. It will, however, start to push in later this evening. We got a low pressure system with a cold front pretty much spanning the entire upper Midwest and it will continue to migrate eastward as it does. It'll bring us chances for those rain showers and thunderstorms later tonight, but it's all pretty conditional. So what we need today is for that plenty of sunshine to create an unstable atmosphere over the lake. If we end up seeing that today, that could bring us the potential for some of those stronger storms to be able to make it across the lake from Wisconsin into our region. Right now, it's looking like that could happen. We'll see some spots showers really start to enter uh, our viewing area around five to seven o'clock tonight. So around dinner time, a lot of these are expected to stay just general thunderstorms. Our real chance for severe weather ramps up in the middle of the night. We'll start to see some of those uh, rain showers and thunderstorms pass through in the early morning hours of Thursday, and that's when we could pretty much end up having gusty winds and the potential for some heavy downpours and frequent lightning. So have a way to receive alerts as a severe thunderstorm could potentially end up happening. But right now it does look like we are going to see just general thunderstorms passing through. As we head into Thursday, we'll start to clear up quite a bit, bringing us some clear skies by Thursday evening into Friday. Mostly sunny skies are expected as we round out the rest of this week. We will, however, start to see some cloud cover pass on through, but not enough to bring us any precipitation. Our severe weather outlook for today pretty much brings a level one out of five marginal risk for a majority of the viewing area. This has shifted off to the west since yesterday. Yesterday we had some slight, uh, mar so, so, excuse me, some slight risk in some of our southern communities but today just that marginal. So again, main threats would be gusty winds and the potential for heavy downpours for today. High temperatures are expected to rise to 91 degrees. It is hot and humid and we will continue to see those scattered showers and thunderstorm chances through the evening into tonight. The good news is tonight with those scattered thunderstorms and showers passing, we'll actually watch those dew points and the temperatures fall down to the upper 60s, but that will in turn keep us very cool as we head into Thursday. High temperatures on Thursday struggle to make it into the upper 70s, so much cooler, less humid conditions are expected through the rest of the weekend. The weekend by Friday, we're looking at mainly sunny skies, temperatures evening out back into those lower mid 80s, which is exactly where we need to be this time of year. And then as we make it into early next week, that's when we have more chances for some showers and thunderstorms, thunderstorms mainly on Monday and then evening out to just a couple of some scattered shower chances by Tuesday as well.